This is the AutoLine 2 cutting nozzle. Today we're going to remove it, disassemble it, inspect it, and rebuild it. The nozzle tube has left-handed threads. So we'll make sure we go left-handed with it, unthread it from the nozzle tube. Pull it off. To remove the focusing tube, loosen up the retaining screw. To remove the body from the cap assembly, turn it 90 degrees, pull straight down. In here we have the orifice and the uh, wear insert. It's very critical here to make the orifice with the nozzle tube. If that's not making a good connection right there, damage to your orifice and your nozzle tube can, can happen. To remove the orifice, pull it out, inspect the sides of it for erosion, the wear insert, use a 932nd Allen wrench to loosen it up, pull it out, Inspect it for wear on the top and the abrasive inlet port. Check the O-rings on top and there's one on the bottom. There's also an O-ring on the body. Clean it, inspect it, replace the O-rings if necessary. To install the wear insert back into the body, line the notch up with the pin in the body. Use your Allen wrench to tighten the set screw. Do not over tighten it. Damage can happen to the wear insert if you over tighten it. On the cap assembly, remove the handle. You have your abrasive feed tube, which has an O-ring in it. Inspect it for wear and damage. Replace it if necessary. When installing it, it will only go one, one direction. The feed tube has a little flat on one side that mates up with the flat in the cap assembly. Make sure it goes in there good. Thread your handle back on. Snug it down. To install your orifice, put a little bit of goop on the face of the wear insert. Place the orifice in. A little bit of goop on the face of the orifice on the tapered side. Stick it back up in the cap assembly. Turn it clockwise. Make sure it's snug. Put the focusing tube back in. Lock it down. Put it back on the cap on the nozzle tube. Put some goop on the threads of the nozzle tube. Thread it on the cap assembly. Remember it's left-handed threads. When it's snug down, when you get started up, check for leakage from this weep hole right here. If water is dripping or spraying out of this weep hole, that means the orifice and the nozzle tube are not mating up in there it's causing uh, water to bypass and go around the orifice. So be sure to check water dripping from there and tighten if necessary. Before performing any maintenance work on high pressure components, you want to be sure the pump is shut down, e-stop pressed in, and perform lockout tagout procedures. This is the installation of the auto line tube cutting nozzle. Apply a small amount of goop to the threads of the nozzle tube. Slide it up on and thread it on left handed. Thread it on so it bottoms out and use the handle over here as leverage and give it a good tug. Make sure it's tight. Insert your abrasive hose over the feed tube. 
and you're ready to go. If we start that up and we have water dripping out of here, that means we do not have this tight enough between the orifice and the nozzle tube. We'll start it up and we'll give it a good screen here. Remove your feed tube, loosen the nozzle, a couple turns, use your lever, lever here, rotate it 90 degrees, and pull out. Now you can replace your orifice and your wear insert and your O-ring. To put it back together, put just a dab of goof on the taper of the orifice. Slide it up in there, turn it 90 degrees, lock it back down, and back in business.